On Tuesday, the former Millard Middle School will once again open its doors, but its purpose will be a little different. The building is now called River Place and is the region's newest men's residential treatment center. Greg May, who purchased the 12-acre property more than a year and a half ago, says for him it was much more than a business transaction. The whole thought process behind it is very personal. It's because I had a younger brother that fought the addiction problem for years and years. Went through some recovery and did well for about seven years and then relapsed and I, I just felt like they were a need for this in the community. The facility will be operated by a group that is well known for running addiction treatment programs. You know, I think we've got a scenario with Tim Robinson and Art Group uh, actually operating the facility. They've got 10 years experience. They've got a really good model. Renovation work has been going on for more than a year and phase one of the project can now begin. Any time after Tuesday they can actually start with intake to take in people. I think probably by September the 1st they'll have 32 in here. Phase two of the project is going to be another 32. Hopefully by the completion of the residential side of the uh, retrofit will be 120 beds available come January or 1st of February. We'll have a theater room uh, that where they can actually go and interface with people. We're going to have a, a classroom to where they can, with a computer workstation where they can do their GEDs or college classes. And uh, then we'll have the gym. I mean, it's a recreational facility that most places don't have. Greg May says every step of the renovation work was done with his brother in mind. When we got my brother in recovery, he was away from drugs for about seven years. And truly those were the happiest family times we have because like every other family, they all worry about their siblings or their children or you know, when, they, when they've got this addiction issue. So I was hoping that I could get this in operation and then I, that I could use that to entice him to come back into recovery and to help operate, help teach. But that will never happen. My brother died this past June, June the 9th. He, here's the thing, I've had people say, well, you don't want to tell everybody you overdosed. Well, Shannon, this issue and the way I feel about it and what I've experienced and what I've learned doing this facility, we can't hide it. It's time to quit hiding the, the issue and the problems that we have. Let's call it what it is. And until we do that as a society, I don't think that we can learn and do as well as we can with recovery. But what we are going to do is we're going to dedicate the chapel that we've built inside the facility. We're going to dedicate that to his memory. The community is invited to the grand opening of River Place Treatment Center Tuesday beginning at 1130. I think we've got a story to tell and I think we want to tell that story and we want to let people know how to get the help they need.